Hey friend, Graham Cochran here, seven figure business owner and fanatical user of the online business platform, Kajabi. In this video series, I'm gonna walk you through over 31 days how to do everything you need to do inside of Kajabi, from launching products, to sending marketing emails, to creating webinars, to scaling and automating your online business so you make more while working less. It's all here. Now, if you don't already have Kajabi, you're in luck. I want to get you access to a 14-day free trial using my link, grahamcochran.com slash Kajabi. But not just the free trial because you can get that anywhere. I want to give you two free mini courses just by signing up with my link. One you'll get the moment you join called Ready, Set, Kajabi, which walks you through hand in hand how to launch your business with Kajabi, including some of my best ninja marketing tactics that I use on the regular. You get that the moment you sign up with my link. And then if you become a paying member of Kajabi after the trial, I'm gonna send you a free sales copy formula mini course, my three-step sales copy formula to help you sell more products to more people effortlessly. It's all for free if you just sign up for Kajabi using my link at grahamcochran.com slash Kajabi or I'll link to it below. In this video, I'm going to show you the first of my three email automation tricks that will take your email marketing to the next level. Hope you're ready to dive in. I'm Graham Cochran and this is 31 Days with Kajabi. Let's start with a basic one that you should be doing, period, assuming you have an email funnel. So let's go to the marketing tab here uh, and let's go to email campaigns um, and let's create uh, a sequence. So let's go new email sequence and we'll call this new subscriber sequence. You could call this new subscriber funnel, whatever you want to call it, right? And what this is, I'm assuming you already have this, when somebody opts in for one of your lead mag magnets, one of your free guides, one of your free offers um, that gets them on your email list, you should already be taking advantage of email automation to send them a few emails, even if it's just one email, if you have no products to offer yet, even just one simple email, thanking them for subscribing, offering them something extra as a little gift, and maybe asking what their biggest challenge is. Literally, how can I help you right now? So you might have, you know, day one email. Uh, let's save that. They get that a day after. Um, well, we got to give it text. Day one. Okay. So they get that a day after they... Um, they join, let's add another email, day two, we'll call this day two, day two, and we'll do one more. Let's say it's a three email sequence, day three. And you know, I'll use these funnels to over deliver and then um, strategically pitch one of my products. That's how I automate sales and get evergreen sales all day, every day. So we're gonna have this subscribe trigger when somebody, um, let's see, submits a form. And uh, I've got a five pound cheat sheet opt-in. This is like maybe when I'm, if I'm a fitness instructor, how to lose five pounds a week. So if they um, if they submit that form opt-in, I want them to automatically be subscribed to this sequence, okay? So this is basic email 101. You can do this on the form level or you can do this here on the subscriber level. This actually isn't the trick I wanna show you, but you should be having people go through a sequence when they opt in. That's the whole point of getting them on your list is you can automatically put relevant offers in front of them and over deliver and build that relationship. The question comes, okay, Graham, how do I automate when I want to send out a new email like this week, like here's my latest video. I don't want that to go to people who are in this sequence right now because I don't want to overload them with extra emails. Plus, I want them to just see these emails for the first few days because let's say they pitch a product. How do I differentiate the two? And this is what I want you to do is to create a tag structure that automatically allows you to exclude people who are in the sequence. So very, very simple. What we do is go to settings for this sequence, okay? And we can create an automation for the sequence, okay? Automations are so simple. The automation by default is when the email sequence is completed, meaning they've been delivered all of these emails, then what I want to do is add a tag. Tags are gonna allow you to have all kinds of automation power. And what tag do you wanna add? Well, we don't have one, so we'll type a new tag. And I like to create a tag called completed 
new subscriber sequence. Click create. So now that's a new tag. It said at the bottom of my screen tag was created and I'm gonna click save. So all we've done so far is created a simple behind the scenes automation that does nothing but add a little hidden tag to that email address when they've delivered all of these emails. Now, when you go, all you need to do is set that up once so that it'll automatically tag people who've gotten all the emails. Now, if I go back to email campaigns and let's say it's a new day and I've got a new email or even I'm launching something new or whatever and I wanna email out everybody on my list who is not currently going through the sequence, it becomes very simple. We got a new email campaign broadcast, right? Because we're sending a single email today, let's say. I like to use the classic editor because I'm old school. I'll call it new video, but you could use any of the templates. And so by default, you're gonna be sending it to everyone who's on your list. All people is the general default here, right? But what we can do is create a custom segment based off of all kinds of filters, based off of if they own a product, if they've submitted a form, but we're gonna base our segment off of of has any of these tags and what tag completed new subscriber sequence and then click apply now I don't have any people any any people in this account this is a dummy account for teaching but what this has done and what we'll do is we'll save this segment and give it a name completed new subscriber sequence okay now what we can do is we can just go back to email campaigns we can delete this email let's say so let's say we we've started over we're gonna send out a new email new email broadcast and we'll call it new video now under all people there's also this the segment pre-created completed new subscriber sequence and all this means is it's only going to send the email to people who have this special tag and that tag is only given to them if they have received all the emails so it's perfect it's going to ignore everyone who doesn't have this tag, meaning people who have yet to receive all three emails in this case of the sequence. So that's a great simple tool. Now I can always email out my list and just choose that segment, have completed new subscriber sequence, and I never have to worry about bombarding people who are going through my sequence with emails. And I never have to pay attention to who's in or out of my sequence because it's the moment they've gotten that tag and completed a sequence, the next time I email out my whole list, they will be in that segment and they will get that email. And so it becomes a natural flow for them from the automated emails to the regular emails without you having to do anything special. That's trick number one. Thanks so much for watching today's video. I hope you found it helpful. Don't forget, if you want to jump on the free trial of Kajabi and get up to two amazing free bonus courses from yours truly, just go to grahamcochran.com slash kajabi and sign up today. That's it for today's video. I hope to see you tomorrow as we dive deeper into Kajabi and help take your business to the next level.